but this might also force you to put it in here. And so then this video I'm going to be reviewing um, Coda, um, which is a really good um, application for um, uh, FTP and um, SSH and um, different things like that. So um, uh, there's quite a lot of features for this application. For example, um, you can use terminal and SSH into um, iPod Touches and iPhones, things running um, open SSH. And what's really useful about this is that um, it's a lot faster than just using terminal on the Mac or something because um, you can go to site. You can click add site and as you can see you can just um, add the root URL um, so you can preview files um, and add um, all the ports and everything and there's different protocols like yes, FTP um, which is SSH, um, FTP with SSL and web dav and web dav HTTPS which is HTTP um, secure so um, there's um, some other settings here um, like um, terminal, um, SSH servers um, this will even work on an iPod Touch, iPhone or iPads running OpenSSH so um, you can use different terminal commands and it's quite similar to the Mac so I'll just show you the um, terminal here actually um, I'll just um, deny um, this um, I'll just pause this and um, allow it actually ok so I won't show the um, terminal feature because it shows my username for my um, web hosting and things like that so, um, but anyway it's just some um, normal um, terminal um, commands line um, interface um, there's also the CSS here so um, you can change CSS easily here um, and um, it's also a web page preview so um, um, this is basically just um, web page web um, browser but um, some PHP things sometimes don't really work well in it you can also um, simulate different browsers like Firefox and Google Chrome and, and these browsers that you already have um, on your operating system um, I think this is only for Mac um, but I'm not sure about that um, now you've, you can also go to view and show invisible files here so um, actually it's here I think and what's really useful about this is that you can go to local files but of course you can just use finder for that because then you can drag and drop things and as you can see um, you can edit you can edit files in this without downloading them onto your desktop somewhere um, editing them with a the text editor and then um, saving them and then re-uploading them to the server you just need to click on it, um, edit it and um, press command and desk to save it and it will instantly save to your server and um, to your desktop somewhere so this is a really nice feature, I think it saves this temporarily um, somewhere on your computer or something um, so it downloads it from the servers to a temporary place so um, anyway, um, this is um, just as you can see an anonymous Google um, um, thing on my server, I might delete it soon but if you want to use Google anonymously you can just use this URL uh, so um, you can just um, upload files by dragging and dropping them for example, um, I'll just upload some. This is um, some things from a theme. I haven't deleted them yet. Just upload a block quotes. Okay, so sometimes it takes a long time to upload, but that's because of the server, because I'm running really bad hosting. Well, it's not too bad, but it is quite slow to upload stuff to it. Okay, so um, I'll just pause this and wait some um, um, for this to upload and tell you um, how long it took. And resume at um, sometimes six five seconds, but about seventy five percent of the time it takes this long, or longer actually. Okay, so sometimes it takes forever. So and what to do to solve this is just um, click this eject button here, um, and that's all disconnect from the server. And you just need to accept the warning and pressing disconnect. You need to go back to sites and double click on your site here. And you need to go back to the directory and upload the file. And it takes about two or three seconds, um, seconds or third time. So as you can see, I've uploaded this file. Just right click on it and um, select um, copy path. Okay, we've got a PHP error here. So I'll just load this. As you can see, it's uploaded this file, and um, this is what it looks like in Finder. 
Okay, so um, as you can see, it's quite useful. Um, and you can delete files straight in here. Um, but I um, don't think you can edit some um, files um, with um, uh, GIF or image files like you can in text edits. So if you want to do that, you need to rename it to TXT or something or HTML. And then you can rename it again, but um, be quite hard to edit an image file anyway. So um, anyway, um, just delete this um, file, and also you can move um, this file and duplicate it and do anything like that. So, um, so I'll just delete this. Uh, so I don't think there's really much more to um, show. So anyway, um, thanks for watching this um, tutorial. I mean, um, review. Please um, check out my different videos and tutorials. Please um, subscribe. And ring on this video and um by the way I've got a hundred thousand um total video views so um, thanks for watching my videos.